In this question, it says that the engine pumps 1000 kg of water per minute from a well depth of 100 meter. So it says the engine pumps 1000 kg of water per minute from a well depth of 100 meter. If 20% efficiency of the engine is lost, find the horsepower of the engine. So here, here suppose the power of the engine, power of the engine, the power of the engine is P. As it lost 20% of the yeast efficiency, as it lost 20% of its efficiency, so the effective effective efficiency effective efficiency is equal to 100 minus 20 percent or 80 percent okay so effective efficiency means the output efficiency okay so so effective efficiency is equals to the if i represent this effective efficiency is p prime so effective efficiency p prime is equals to the as it is 80 percent it is 80 percent for what it is it is 80 percent for the actual uh, power of the engine so we can write p into 80 by 100 okay so this is the effective efficiency of our engine now <coughs> we can write this thing as p equals to p prime into 100 by 80 so for this effective efficiency our work has been done okay so this effective efficiency our work has been done so this effective power or effective efficiency of of the motor uh, effective efficiency of the motor we can write we know the power we can we know the power equals to work by unit of time so for this p prime so for this p prime work has been done so we can write for this p prime w by t into 100 divided by 80 here w means the work it is done and it is done what work it pumps 1000 kg of water per minute of a well depth of 100 meter so here we will use the formula of gravitational work we know the gravi for gravitational work, use the formula of mgh so here we will use the formula mgh into 100 divided by t into 80 okay so we know the value of m so we know the value of m is 1000 kg 1000 we know the value of g is 9.8 our h is 100 meter our h is 100 meter and this is the 100 of this equation and we know that time equals to one minute. The time equals to one minute, and the we if we convert it to second, it will be 60 second and into 180, 60 second into 80. So if I calculate this whole thing, I will get the value which is equals to 2041.67 what 67. But I have to find it in horsepower. So what will be the power of this? Power of the engine is horsepower. We know, we know. One watt equals to. So we know, one horsepower equals to seven four six watt. So if I, if I have to find out this in horsepower, I will have to divide this whole watt with seven four six. So if I divide this whole watt with seven. 46 i will get 27.37 hertz power okay so this is the this is our answer so for, so what is the horsepower of the engine so the horsepower of the engine will be 27.37 hertz power this is the solution of our first question now coming to the second question the second question says that a steel ball of mass 5 into 10 inverse 3 kg so the mass of the steel ball is mass of the steel ball is 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 kg dropped from a height of 1 meter so it dropped from a height of 1 meter 
on a piece of steel so here is a piece of steel it drop if this ball is dropped from height of 1 meter at that steel due to the under the action of gravitational force it happened because of the gravitational force and it rises to a height of 0 0.8 meter it dropped down from this height 1 meter and it dropped it raised a height of 0 0.8 meter okay it height a uh, height of 0 0.8 meter after the impact after the impact impact okay I have to calculate the kinetic energies before and after impact. I have to find out the kinetic energy before and after impact. And what fraction of inertial energy is lost due to impact? There is two part of this question. So first of all, you solve the first part. First part. In first part, I have to find out the kinetic energies before and after impact. So. <coughs> So kinetic energy, if I find out the kinetic energy before impact, before impact, it is equals to the, if I uh, find out the kinetic energy before impact, it will be equals to the half of m v square, half of m v square. And we know the formula v square equals to v naught square plus 2 as here for v naught square as it is acting due to the gravitational force so our v naught square will be zero because in gravitational force we consider free fall so our v naught square equals to zero and for gravitational force we use the gravitational uh, gravitational acceleration and for s we will use the height h we will use the height h which is equals to the one meter which is equals to one meter so i will get the value of this thing is 2g to g. If I input this v square value in that, I will get mgh, where h equals to 1 meter, or I will get mg. If I replace this h to 1, okay, so I will get the value of this gravitational force, which is mg. If I put all the value, as here the mass equals to 5 into 10 by 3, and g equals to 9.8, and I, as I say, h equals to 1 meter i put it earlier so the value of the kinetic energy before impact will be 0 0.0492 okay so this is the kinetic energy before impact now you have to find out the kinetic energy after impact after impact okay so after impact the kinetic energy will be ke prime which is equals to the same half of mv square now we have to find out the value of v square now at at the second time at second time when it raises from this steel plate to at height of 0 0.8 meter then for that case our v square equals to will be our v square will be v naught square minus 2gh okay and the uh, for that case will not use v square we will use v naught square because it raises with the velocity of v naught it raises with the velocity of v naught and here our v will be zero because at when it comes at that point our in a final velocity will be zero final velocity will be zero what we will get v naught square minus 2g that is not h that will be h prime which is equals to 0 0.8 meter okay so we will get v naught square equals to 2gh so if i import this value of 2gs here we, i will get mg h prime not it is not h it, it is h prime so if i put the value m equals to 5 into 10 inverse 3 g equals to 9.8 9.8 and h prime equals to 0 0.8 meter 0 0.8 meter i will get the answer which is equals to which is equals to 0 0.0392 okay so this is the kinetic energy before impact and after impact now this is the first part of our question now we have to find out the second part which says that calculate the kinetic uh, cal uh, so, sorry not calculate what fraction of initial energy is lost due to impact what fraction of initial energy is lost due to impact so this before impact is our initial impact uh, initial kinetic energy 
and after impact is uh, it, it is our final impact or uh, it it is the impact after uh, the, it is the kinetic energy after impact so if i have to find out the fraction of initial energy loss if i find if i have to find out the second part fraction of initial energy lost which will be equals to the difference between these two before impact and after impact which will be equals to the before impact and after impact no if this is we will write, write as k e minus k e prime and we will divide this thing at of initial impact initial kinetic energy okay so this thing then i will get the value which will be equals to like uh, put down the value the kinetic energy before impact is 0 0.0490 and the kinetic energy after impact is 0 0.0392 joule and the initial impact is 0 0.049 if i calculate the value which is equals to the 0 0.2 and if i make this equation in percentage i will get 20 percent so the 20 percent of the initial energy is lost due to the impact okay so this is the answer of our second question i hope you understand this chapter work energy and power and uh, understand the mathematical equations and mathematical problems please like this video and do subscribe to our channel thank you